Hello and welcome to my kitchen everybody. Today I'm making a lamb roast with some lovely veggie. I'm starting off by heating a pot to maximum heat and adding some olive oil. I also have my oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. Once the pot is hot and the lovely olive oil is spread, I'm going to add the lamb and just browning it from all sides, seasoning it with salt and pepper, myram, chervil, lavender, only take a very very few buds of lavender and uh, then some rosemary and thyme and any other herbs that are in the recipe. I'm also adding crushed garlic and uh, that gives the lamb a lovely lovely flavor. I also added a bit of stock cube already and the liquid for the stock will be added in a few moments together with the red wine. And in total you have 375 milliliters of liquid there. I'm only adding a third right now and uh, just letting it get to a boil and then I'm putting the roast into the oven, no lid on and every maybe 15 minutes or something I'm going to add the remaining parts of the liquid. The Lamb has to be in the oven for about 60 minutes. And while the lamb is roasting and cutting all the veggies. So I'm dicing the zucchini and the bell peppers and I'm halving the cherry tomatoes. It's very simple, not much skill needed to make this lovely dish. It's really yummy. Okay. So after that hour is over, I got the pot with the lamb out of the oven and I put on the lid and letting the meat rest for another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm heating up another pan, a bit of adding a bit of olive oil and then the veggies and roasting them until they are soft, seasoning them with salt and pepper and a tiny bit of thyme. And that's pretty much it. What? Once the meat is rested, I'm going to cut it into very thick slices. And this recipe is for either four people or for two people on two days, as in our case here. So the bits that are more red or rosé in the middle, I'm going to put them aside for the second day because you can finish off the meat when you reheat uh, the veggies and the meat in a little pan and just roast it there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do on the veggies, just before I serve it, I'm going to add a tiny tiny bit of honey and two tablespoons of white wine vinegar just to give it a bit of a tangy slightly sweet taste and then it's done. I can plate up. I hope you like this very simple but very lovely recipe. Let me know if you tried it, if you just found it just as yummy as I did. I'm going to see you next week with a new recipe and thanks very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you!